Ransom victory from on high. Will you the only one who to God? Mulțumim de toți, 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 Ami, Amen. Glory to God in the highest and the earth, peace, good will to men. Glory to God in the highest and the earth, peace, good will to men. Glory to God in the highest and the earth, peace, good will to men. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth the praise. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth the praise. O oh Lord, why do so many talk me, many of those who rise up against me? Many you say to me, there is no salvation for him in his God. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cried out to the Lord in a loud voice, and from his holy mouth he heard me. As for me, I lay down and slept, and I woke, for the Lord will be my help. I will not fear ten thousand people arrayed against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and say to me, my God, for you have stricken all who hated me without cause. You shattered the sinner's teeth. This deliverance is the Lord's upon your people with your blessing. As for me, I lay down and slept, and I woke to the Lord with you my help. O Lord, in your anger rebuke me not, chastise me not to wrath. Your hours are poured into me, and the family is heavily upon me. Because of your breath, there is no soundness in my flesh. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my iniquities have overwhelmed me, and for your kind of My sores have become stench and desperate because of my folly. A stooping and exhausted breath, I stumbled the morning all the day. My loins were burning with fever, for my life is a total mockery, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I was crushed and deeply afflicted. I roared at the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, all my longing is down to you, and my groaning is no secret to you. My heart races, and my strength is left in me, and even the light of my eyes is failed me. My friends and companions approach and stood by, while my closest kinsmen kept their distance. And those who sought my life were eager and one of those who wished me this of lies, bloody deception of all men. But I remained as a dead man in her the night. As a dumb man is not my mouth. As a man who has not heard a thing and thus has no report of his lips. In your Lord, I place my cross to your feet over my mouth. I said, Oh, that my foes cease to blood over me, thus for my own life, I can stop you. As for me, I'm ready to be scorched, and my pain is with me always. Indeed, I myself confess my heart, and I will live in anguish because of my sin. Those who, rendering evil for good, opposed me when I saw the justice, but my enemies survived and overpowered, and those who gave me without loss are multiplied. O oh Lord God, forsake me not. Stay not apart from me, hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. In you, O Lord, I place my trust, and with the key, O Lord, my God, hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O oh God, my God, and God, I rise to you. My soul is thirsty for you, and all that my flesh is hungry for you. Like a desolate, trackless land that has no water, so did I come to you in the holy place to see the power and the glory that are yours. Since your love is better than life itself, my lips shall declare your praise. So shall I bless you as long as I live, and lift up my hands and call upon your name. My soul shall be filled with the choices fair. The joyful lips will praise your name. As I lay on my couch and encouraged you, I meditated in the ground with the watches. That you became for me the helping one, that you bring the shot of your wings out of my delight. My soul clings to you and I can hold me up. But as for those who sought my life in vain, may they sink into the depths of the earth. 
and be given over to the sword, the prey of jackals, they shall be. But the king shall rejoice in God, and all who swear by him shall rule, and the mouth of liars is stopped. I meditated in the throughout of the watches, that you became the leader of the world, that in the shelter of your wings I will find the light. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always in prayer, and amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Give you a lesson, give you a lesson, give you a lesson. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always in prayer, and amen. O oh Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cry out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you and get ear to my plea, O oh Lord. For my soul was filled with trouble and my life came close to beings. I was reckoned for those who go down to the pit. I was like a man beyond help, who had to get. Like the slain left to lie in the grave, those you remember no more, they're cut away from their feet. You cast me down to the deepest abyss into darkness and the shadow of death. Your anger was a burden upon me. You poured your billows over me. You took my friends away from me. You made me lonesome to them. I was closed in and could not escape. My eyes were dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day I stretched out my hands to you. But will you work wonders for the dead? Can physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Does anyone sing your love in the grave or your truthfulness in the midst of perdition? Are your marvels ever known in darkness to your justice in the land of the living? And yet, O oh Lord, I cried out to you, and to you my prayer shall rise and fall. Why, O oh Lord, do you reject my prayer? Why do you hide your face away from me? I am wretched and troubled since my youth. I was raised high, then humbled and distressed. Your plagues have swept over me, and my tears have left me shaken. They surround me like waters all the day. They close in upon me from all sides. You distance from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintance so wretched and high. O oh Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cry out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you, and your ear to my request, O oh Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, may all that is in me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all the gifts from him. Who pardons all your sins and heals all your infirmities? Who ransoms your life from corruption and crowns you with his love and mercies? Who fills your body with what is good and the root of your life and the Christ? The Lord performs deeds of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed. He's made known his ways to Moses and his glory to his most joy. The Lord is the one of compassion and mercy, long suffering and men of all love. His contention is not forever, nor will his anger always last. He's not dealt with us as our sins of men, but as we pay our evil deeds. For as high as the heavens stand over the earth, so far as the Lord has been his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our sins from us. His kindness of father is due to children, and so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows well how we will feel. He remembers we're only made of dust. A man, his days resemble grass, as a flower of the field, so shall he bloom. But let a breeze pass over him when he is gone, and never shall he know his place again. But the love of the Lord is from all eternity and from all eternity for those who fear him. And his justice is upon the children of children of those who keep his covenant, remember his laws to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and all things his speech of his spring. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, your strong and mighty ones, who obey his word, on hearing the sound of his decree. Bless the Lord, all you his powers, his attendants, who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, and every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, all my soul. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and every place of his dominion. O Lord, hear my prayer, and your truthfulness give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me. And enter not the judgment of your servant, since of all the women that is just in their sight. The enemy is hunting me down, he has crushed my life into the ground. He's forced me to live in darkness like those who are dead. My spirit fades with grief and the pain in my heart is in despair. I recalled your days of old and meditated on your deeds. I pondered the works of your hands. I stretched out my hand to you like a parched lane and my soul thirsts for you. Make haste to answer me, O Lord, my spirit has failed me. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those in the pit. Grant that I may hear your steadfast love of God, 
place my hope in you. O oh Lord, teach me the way I should go, for I lift it up my soul to you. O oh Lord, deliver me from my enemies. It is to you that I pray. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. And may your good spirit lead me to straight path. For the sake of your name, my Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness, you will deliver me from affliction. And in your loving kindness, you will destroy my enemies. And bring to you all those who oppress me, for I am your servant. O oh Lord, hear my prayer, and your truthfulness give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. Glory to the Father, and his Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God, our hope, Lord. Glory to you. God is Lord and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This came about through the Lord and is wonderful in our eyes. God is Lord and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Mother of mine, you have your 
yourself as into life, and by your prayers you delivered our souls from death, both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen.
The honorable choir of the all wise apostles miraculously came, O Auguste Odorus, to bury your immaculate body, holy body with dignity, joining them, the hosts of holy angels extolled you. With solemnity they sang and praised you, your mission which we faithfully celebrate. <laughs> Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. When the hosts of the angels saw how you were accounted among the dead, they all marveled. You were Savior for the one who destroyed the light of death. And when you arose, you raised Adam with yourself, and from Hades liberated everyone. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears full of pity, O wind and disciples? Thus the angel who was shining in the tomb cried to the Lord, bearing women. See for yourselves the empty tomb and understand that the Savior is risen from the sepulchre. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Very early in the morning, the Merberry women were hastened to the tomb of Antony, but the angel appeared to them and uttered, the time for lamentation has ended. We no more. Go announce the resurrection to the apostles. Blessed are you, O Lord, teaching your commandments. When the Lord bearing women had come with their spices to your sepulchre, Savior, they heard the voice of an angel clearly speaking to them. Why do you account among the dead the one who lives? For his God he has risen from the sepulchre. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We bow down in worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Trinity, one in essence, and we cry aloud with the seraphim, Holy, Holy. Holy are you, O Lord, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Giving birth to the giver of life, a virgin who delivered Adam from sin, and to Eve who had granted joy in place of sorrow. He who from you became incarnate, God and man, as directed to life, and who fell from it. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. <coughs> alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Que for blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. After the passion of Christ, the women went to the tomb to anoint your body. And they saw angels in the sepulchre, and they were amazed. For they heard them saying that the Lord had risen and granted the world a great mercy. 
Savior, I direct the eyes of my heart unto you in heaven. Save me, I pray, shining on me your resplendence. Have mercy, O oh my Christ, on us who hourly commit sin against you and uphold me. And gives us means before the end to turn to you in repentance. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. To the Holy Spirit is it proper to rule and to hallow and to new creation. For he is God, co-essential with the Father and the Lord. If the Lord were not among us, who would be sufficient to preserve the self uninjured from the enemy and murderer of mankind? Hand me not to the teeth of my enemies, O oh my Savior, for in the manner of the lion they come against me, your servant. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit is life source and honor, being as he is God. In the Father, through the Son, he strengthens and sustains every creature. They whose confidence is in the Lord are like a holy mountain. They are in no way shaken by the assaults of the God. Let those who live for God not stretch forth their hands in unlawful acts. For Christ will not suffer his lot to be oppressed by the rod of sinners. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. From the Holy Spirit does in addition all wisdom also issue. Whence his grace to the apostles and the martyrs for their contest receive the crowns, and the prophets are seers. Awaken, O oh Lord my God, in the ordinance you commanded, so the congregation of the people shall surround you. Awaken, my Lord, O oh Lord my God, in the ordinance you commanded, so the congregation of the peoples shall surround you. O oh Lord my God, in you I hope. Awaken, O oh Lord my God, in the ordinance you commanded, so the congregation of the people shall surround you. <coughs> you, rose, <coughs> you rose from the tomb, O Savior, all powerful, and Hades beheld the marvel and the struck with fear, and the dead were rising up, and creation beholds and rejoices with you, and Adam is also exalted. O oh, my Savior, and the world ever sings your praise. You are the light of those in darkness. You are the resurrection of all, and the life of mortals. And with yourself you resurrected everyone who saved you, despoiling the dominion of death, and smashing the gates of maintenance of the world. The mortals beholding the miracle marvel, and all creation rejoices in your resurrection, O oh, lover of mankind. Therefore, we all glorify and extol your condensation, O oh, my Savior and the world that ever sings your praise. The fair of is is undying in intercession, immovable is our hope in her for protection. Neither did the weary or prevailed over her. As she is mother of light, she was removed to life by him. The Lord lifted her ever virgin womb. Fortify my mind, O my Savior, for I am daring to extol your immaculate mother, the fortress of the world. Reinforce me with the power of words, and shelter me in the castle of concepts. 
for you have promised to fulfill the request of those who request your faith. Do therefore in downloading the elocution, expression, and darkness meditation, for every dose of illumination is set down in Kundu, a guiding light, who lived in forever virgin world. On August 23, we commemorate the Holy Martyr Lucas. And this day we also commemorate the Holy Priest Martyr Uranus, Bishop of Smyrna. On this day we also commemorate the Holy Priest Martyr Uranus, Bishop of Blood, Yakuma, modern day line. On this day we also commemorate our devout father, Saint Eunuchos, Bishop, Patriarch of Constantinople. On this day, the holy 38 martyrs who trace God by the sword. The memory of our devout father, St. Nicholas the Sicilian, who struggled in the seventh season on the mountain of the Gaius, In this, by your intercessions of your saints, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. Adore with the divine, O Virgin, is your most sacred and illustrious memorial. Gathering with the faithful all to gather joyfully, to sing in processions led by Miriam, with timbers and dancing, to your only begotten Son, for he has been greatly glorified. O wisdom of our God and his power that has created and is sustaining the universe, reinforce your church of Christ. Preserving her unshakable and unmoved, for you alone are holy, O Lord, and you repose in your holy ones. Sayings of the prophets and mysteries reveal your incarnation from a virgin, mystically, O Christ, that your lightning's brightness is light for Gentiles would emanate. The abyss calls out to you with the voice of gladness. To your power be glory, O lover of man. <clears throat> o Christ, I shall tell of your virtues and of their beauty, divine and ineffable. As co-eternal and hypostatic radiance, you shall from glory eternal and coming forth incarnate from the virgin's womb, you have risen as the sun on those in darkness and in the shadow of death. Rhyme and born of the deep, the fire in the maw of the whale was a prefiguring of your three day long burial. And of this figure was Jonah the interpreter. For preserved and scathed, as before he was swallowed up, he cried out, I shall sacrifice to you with a voice of praise, O Lord. Counterposed against audacious ire, and the furnace is fire, the love of God made the fire cool as dew. While the ire it derived, derided, Counteracting in the midst of flames the musical organs of the three toned, rational God inspired life. The three holy servants chanting, Lord our God, you are glorified, O God of our fathers, you are blessed. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. Unto the servants in the furnace, God's almighty angel shall the flame burning be impious, but the saints calling as we do. Into a life dwelling fountain, he was made the, he has made the fair of always gushing destruction upon death. The light to those who sing the hymn. We who have been deemed chanted praise to the only Creator, exalting Him supremely unto all the ages. Keep your legs on. 
Jesus, having risen from the grave, as he foretold, has granted us eternal life and grace. Life. You, after bearing our burden 
In her guarantee, you shall bear the loss of company, and death introduce in his life. You left a very large virgin, and after dying, are living. Mother Earth, I'll never say your inheritance. Sou o Deus, o nosso, que glória e santo incrível não tem a sua. Feliz que eu tenho a voz de um cinelei que se diz. Diz que são feras, que se não é do nosso homem. E que dá o sinal que a lei se está do sinal. Três vezes está pronto, que se diz que não é teu voz e fazer mais. E que não é que se diz que o Deus está bom. Dois tracias. Continua a guardar-me, e não me chamava, e que se respeite o meu doce, o rico, o drama que vai te escolher, o naíra me doce, o que está na vida, o que está na vida, o naíra me faz ver o mundo, e levar-me, 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 Nasceu o querido João, que veio nos fazer a forma de sangria. Filho de mim, com as que me queriam fazer o pai da folha, eu não estava lá por bom. Dona Guia, o negócio, o melhor do Maquia. Eu vi o que é o meu corpo. Eu vi o que é o meu rico, o meu corpo, o que eu não tenho, o que está lá, o que eu não tenho, o que está lá, o que eu não tenho. Eu vi o Martinho falar, falar o nosso que é referido, que saía assim logo, negro no mar, que é para aqui não é de mim, que 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 não é de mim, eu não sei o que é o fórum, para ter um irmão, que não é de mim, que te queiram, que eu te adoro, e eu te ensino, que faço um som na dia, que te deram um grande sermão, e por ele é de mim, e faço um som que não há de nós, que eu venço, que é de lei, e só de nós. Que é de lei, só 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 de lei, Kiria Leson, Kiria Leson, Kiria Leson, Kiria Leson, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. For all the heavenly powers praise you, and all the world glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever, and ever. Amen. Holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God, exalt the Lord our God, and worship at the Lord's school of his feet, for he is holy. Do you love me, the Lord inquired, three times of Peter after the divine rising from the dead, whereupon he appoints him to be the chief shepherd of the sheep, and seeing the disciples whom Jesus loved, following them, he asked the master, Lord, what about him? And he said, It is my will that this one remain until I come again. What is that to you, friend? Me too. Apostles, you have assembled from every corner of the earth. 
Here in Gethsemane today, we are coming bearing my body. And you, my son, and my God, receive my departing spirit. Apostles, you have ascended from every corner of the earth. Here in Gethsemane today, now come and bear in my body. And you, my son, and my God, receive my departing spirit. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest. He is ready to surrender to you, O God. Praise Him all you His angels. Praise Him all you His angels. It is fitting to sing a to you, O God. Praise in sun and moon, praise in all your stars and light. Praise in you, heavens of heavens, and the waters of the heavens. Let them praise the Lord's name. For he spoke, and they were made, he commanded, and they were created. He established them forever. And unto ages of ages, he set forth his ordinance, and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you dragons and all of deeds. Fire and hail, snow and ice, icy storm and wind, which record his birth. Mountains and all the hills, all the trees and all the sea. Kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth. Young men and women, elders with younger, let them praise the Lord's name. For his name alone is exalted. His thanksgiving is in earth and heaven. And he shall exalt the Lord of his people. Yet he all has sins. And the children of his people. What people who draw near to him. Sing to the Lord a new song. Is praising the assembly of his holy ones. Let Israel be glad in him who made him, and let the children of Zion radiant joy sing their joy. Let them praise his name in death, with tambourine and heart, let them sing to the day. For the Lord is here to make his people, and he shall exalt the gentle with salvation. The Holy Ones shall burst in the morning, and they shall break and rejoice on the dead. The high praise of God shall be in your mouth, and a two-edged sword in the hand, to do retribution to the nations. Reproving among the peoples, to shackle them in the chains, and their nobles with fetters of iron. To fulfill among them the written judgment, his authority has all his holy hands. Every breath in all creation glorifies you, O Lord. For by means of the cross, you render death powerless, so that you might show the people your resurrection from the dead as the only one who loves humanity. Praise God in the saints, praise him in the permanent of this power. Let the Jew be understanding how the soldiers lost the king, since they were watching 
And why do you have the stone in your door of life? Let them surrender him who is weary. And when he has risen, let them worship him and say with God, Glory to the abundance of your tender mercies, O our Savior, glory to you. Praise him who is my hands, praise him according to the abundance of his Rejoice, Rejoice O peoples, and be exalted, an angel sat on the stone of the tomb. And he announced to us the good news and said, Christ has risen from the dead as the Savior of the world. And he has filled the universe with sweet fragrance. Rejoice, O peoples, and be exalted. Praise him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with the heart and light. An angel before your conception, O Lord, convey the salutation. Rejoice, children, faith, and full of grace. And an angel of your resurrection will go where the stone of your glorious sepulcher. The one who instead of sorrow was disclosing tokens of gladness. The other instead of death proclaim to us the master who gave her life. Therefore we cry aloud unto you the benefactor of all. O Lord, glory to you. Praise him with two hands, praise him with strength and beauty. You, your mission is glorious, all in heaven are you great. And the hearts of angels are bringing us on earth as we rejoice, celebrating it, and singing with exalted joy. Sacred kingdom hymns to you, Father of Christ our God, who is Lord of all. Oh, what hope we have ever heard to make you from hereditary judgment. You have delivered you to humanity. Praise him with resounding symbols, praise him with triumphant symbols, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Your donation is glorious, all in heaven and our children, and the hosts of angels are joining us on earth as we rejoice, celebrating it, and sing with exalted joy. Sacred memory hymns to you, Mother of Christ our God, who is Lord of all, O all holy and ever virgin lady, from hereditary judgment. You have delivered humanity. Rise, O Lord, into your rest, you in the ark of your holiness. From the ends of the earth arrive, the all holy and prominent apostles to bear you by divine command. And when they saw you were taken up from earth to the heights above, they rejoiced and sang the word that the archangel gave you was said to you, Rejoice your God's holy chariot, rejoice the only woman, whom in childhood united with the things on high. The Lord swore to him with the strength in you, he shall not reject it. I shall set up another one, one of the fruit of your loins. You, the mother of life himself, have passed on to me more than life. By your most exalted permission on this day, when all the angels escorted you, powers, principalities, prophets, and apostles, too, the entire created world, while your son in God, with his unending Accepted your offering of soul, obey you, this virgin mother, the bride of God. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. At 
now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. He be a lady soul. For the peace of God and the salvation of our soul, let us pray to the Lord. He be a
Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and up in the ages of ages.
Blessed are you who has read the holy epistle. After his resurrection. 
Why? Why? Because he needed to prove that he had arisen. There were some doubts. So he made an appearance. Eleven times we read the natural gospels. Now who reads them? The priest obviously reads them. And in the mornings, unless it's a feast day, you come early, you'll see me read the gospel from the right side of the holy altar. And of course, we read them during the altars. And then, by tradition, the, the gospel comes out, people reverence it, pre pandemic, we kiss it. Prayerfully, that will return in one day. Then escorted by the acolyte by the altar, and go down to the center, and it goes into the narthex. For everybody who may come in a little bit later, they can revere that gospel that is sitting there. If you came in, you have seen the gospel where the icons are, right next to where the candle. This parish, I am glad to say, follows this wonderful tradition. Now, why does the church identify these 11 Gospels as Matthew Gospels? Well, we already know that all that have to do with appearing after his resurrection. But we call them the morning or the Matthew Gospels, which we read in the morning, which we uh, in the office, the Matt services. But when we read carefully of those 11, Christ isn't making an appearance in the morning. He comes in the daybreak, he comes mid morning, he comes midday, he comes afternoons, and he comes in the evenings. The Father, why do we call them the Matt Gospels? Well, let's look to what our creed has to say and what the fathers of the church particularly St. Gregory Palamas. Palamas has written that the power of sight through the spiritual faculty, the mus, N-O-U-S, and we can say the mus. Man had at one time that power of sight, not that visual sight, that faculty, that spiritual faculty, where we could perceive Receive the light with the capital L that bestows true light with a capital T and a capital L again. This power of sight, this power of observing light without our physical eyes, but we see the light with our spiritual faculty, this is given to us by God's grace. However, as you've heard me say on multiple occasions, that the noose, that the noose became dark. That that spiritual faculty had gotten dark. And man turned himself away from God. He was not inclined to lean towards that light bearing light. That light bearing light, I should say. Essentially, we lost the ability, and more important, the willingness to encounter God in our hearts through this life. This spiritual faculty, this noose, requires, according to the fathers of the church, restoration. Restoration. This is who's going to restore it? Christ is going to restore it. The Son of God. Some say a Son of Righteousness. Some may be spelled as UN, may be spelled as OM. Remember that Christ is begotten. Remember the Greek? Begotten, not made, of the Father before all ages. That means without beginning or without end. It's pre eternal. God just didn't exist one time, or came into existence, it's always been in existence with his son. 
God is always the same immutable. Nothing but a fancy word that means without change. God doesn't change, but God is not static. God is the light of life. And out of an abundance of mercy, the church believes, and that we believe, that man's salvation is tied to the restoration of that spiritual faculty that receives, that sees this life. We know, we know Christ came down from heaven. And what else do we know? That he was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary. And what's the uh, creed say? And became man. We know that Christ was crucified. We know he suffered. We know he was buried. And we know he descended into Hades. And what happened on the third day? He rose again. Eventually, descended into heaven. Christ's resurrection is the light of resurrection for humanity. That light reflects the light of immortality. That light is an everlasting light. Christ's resurrection became, as the Father say, the first fruits of those sleeping. It was that light of eternal light that was sought and embraced by Christ's disciples. Okay, Father, this sounds nice, but why? Why? So the interrupted day will dawn for us like the day's morning. Like a sun, as you and, or is it as Elohim, a sun that never sets, that beams, that transports, that glows, that heavenly light of the day, without ending, it beams out to engage the truth. Our current age. Now, where we are here living, it will come to an end. We are not going to be immortal on this earth. We will reach the end. When? If he says, when the righteous shall be resurrected with both body and soul. Body and soul as heirs of that light. And it's, uh, one great father wrote, as his sons and daughters of the true day. Now that day, that true day, continues in perpetuity, forever. It just doesn't end. Because without an evening, they never had a morning since it has no beginning. You say that again. The true day continues forever. Without an evening, if the day is day all the time, without an evening, because there is no morning, there is no evening, there is no afternoon. These are concepts that man has created to help us regulate our lives in society. Imagine with the thoughts. Imagine, imagine. I can't imagine, I should say, that Christ and God is bound by that clock. Not bound by that three minute whistle that they blow at the basketball game. God is not bound by the time. God is above all time. That's why we say there really is no beginning. No beginning. There is no morning and there is no evening. It is morning, daybreak. It is the light that we see that shines all the time. Not 24 hours a day. It shines in our hearts. It shines at night. It shines in our sleep. And it shines again within our hearts, the purified heart. That is why we call these the Mat Gospels in the morning, because their passages are strictly resurrection. These are the Gospels of the dead. And me, and me, and me.
and for a wooden gown before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Remembering our most holy and your blessed and glorious days, that they are all for the never Virgin Mary, and with all the saints, let us submit ourselves and one another in our own life. Christ our God, to you, Lord. us to bring before you gifts and spiritual sacrifices to our sins and for the transgressions of the people. Make us worthy to find grace in your presence, so that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you, and that your your good and gracious spirit may abide with us. With the gifts you present and with all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy foot and life giving spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And with your spirit, let us love one another, that with one mind we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit,
thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels. By the Kedokim and Sedekim, six wings, many eyes, soaring with their wings, and singing the victory and proclaiming, crying out and saying, Thank you. 
didn't think us worthy masters with confidence and without fear of condemnation to care for you, the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Father, in one, for this or like this, I guess it all master, and that was to be a the benefit of the very master, or to the amount of that it is his, to not to be one of the beautiful. Altogether, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the spare daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, for the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Unto you all, and with your spirit, let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To the Lord. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the need of each of us. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel and heal the sick, the physician of our soul and body. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom we are blessed, together with your own holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages.
I'm glad we had we had a nice size, more than I expected, and I'm grateful for that. This Saturday, we're going to have Authos in Divine Liturgy in honor of uh, St. John the Baptist, who, among many feast days, this is what is the biggest. And we'll celebrate that with Authos at 9, and we'll do liturgy at 10 o'clock. On Sunday, it will be, I believe, the last Sunday of the month, not the summer, of the month. And we will have the blessings of the Honorokita. These are, I would encourage everyone, we had someone who has come forward, Honorokita, I should say, we had someone come forward who's going to make bake on behalf of the parish. And we would ask any family, any family who bakes and brings around to please bring them here. And I promise, I promise, I will try everybody's. <laughs> it makes a problem. My wife warned me to try and not consume. So <laughs> she's, uh, she reminds me on a regular basis. So please, uh, if you you don't know how to make them, and you would like to learn, besides Googling, if you would like some tradition, some history, I would encourage people to call Maria de Quartz, who's going to name them, we have the power, and maybe she can give you some, some tips. To the intercessions of our fun idea, we would love, we beseech you, have mercy upon us, and intercede for us, through your son, for us to have a good week, a good rest of the old. Amen. 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 Amen.